My name is Adam Weir. I'm an engineering lab supervisor at Copeland in Sydney, Ohio. I lead a group of technicians who provide data back to engineers to help design new and existing product here at Copeland. A lot of technicians go out into the field and they work on you know, residential or commercial units or, or refrigeration units within supermarkets, grocery stores, restaurants, things like that. Uh, I thought this was an opportunity to do something a little bit different in the field, uh, which was work on the engineering and development side of one particular product that is within that whole system. HVAC is heat ventilation, air conditioning, and refrigeration. And what we do is we provide home comfort um, to residential and commercial applications, as well as refrigeration applications for supermarkets and things like that. We keep produce cold. We are the component within that that circulates that refrigerant through the system and provides cooling. Really, it all starts off with what we call an ELT. And an ELT is essentially a set of instructions that's provided to us by the engineers. It tells us um, what they want built, how they want it built, what materials they want it built with, what components they want it built with. Uh, and that all starts right here in the assembly lab. Um, and what they do here is they take that set of instructions. That set of instructions also tells us what testing it requires. So if it's going to go to performance or if it's going to the life test lab, uh, it tells us all those things. But it really starts in here in the assembly lab where they actually take the parts, put them together, uh, build the compressor, and then verify the compressor's uh, oil charge, weight, things like that. And then they, uh, they process it over to what we would call a uh, staging area. And then the staging area is where the compressor would go in between test facilities or test labs. And in that staging area would actually be set up, that compressor would be set up to go to its next phase of testing. Um, from there, it might go to performance lab where they're actually testing the performance of the compressor. Uh, so we're looking at capacities, mass flows, uh, amperage, all those things, energy efficiency ratings, all the things that, that can provide us with data to show us if we're up to industry standards, but we exceed industry standards. So from there, it might go to life test, in which time we, we test the uh, life cycle of the compressor through accelerated conditions that provide us, you know, 15, 20 years of the life cycle of the compressor. So another tool we use is a life test stand and that is to monitor the life cycle of the compressor under certain conditions or what we would consider to be conditions that you may see out in the field or it might be a condition that happens to the compressor. One of those would be like what we call our air slugger or flooded start testing, uh, where we're actually introducing eight pounds of refrigerant, liquid refrigerant to a compressor that's only supposed to pump vapor. And we'll do that over and over and over again. I think it's a thousand cycles or 250 hours. That's really cool because these, these, these uh, compressors are actually designed to only pump vapor. So when we're introducing eight pounds of liquid refrigerant to it, you know, over, over 250 hours is really an incredible feat and they, and they pass, they make it through. So that just is an, that's a, that's a testament not only to the testing that we do, but also to the product that we create. So this is our main bearing press. And what this does is this actually presses the shell onto our main bearing. The main bearing is critical to uh, the design of our compressors because it's actually what keeps the shaft at which the motor turns on in a line with the lower bearing, allowing it to turn freely. So what we'll do is we'll press that main bearing in or actually press that shell onto the main bearing. After we press that in and that's pinched, that's called staking. And all that does is hold that main that main bearing from, from moving or falling out of alignment. It's kind of the bread and butter and um, one of our most successful products that we, that we sell probably the most of here at Copeland. Teamwork is essential. And, and here, uh, one piece doesn't work without the other. So it is essential for everybody, um, essential to have a team in here because it would be impossible for one person to do every job in the development of our product. And we even have a team like parts and materials team, you know, and they take care of all the parts that, that we're building these compressors with and, and they have their job, right? So without them, we don't have the parts that we need to actually build these compressors. And so everybody kind of works in unison. And so in my role in the team is to lead my technicians, 
to collect all this data or make sure that we're providing the engineers with the data that they need. Uh, accountability, safety is a big one. Recognizing uh, safety hazards and improving those, those conditions and areas, going to a no-lift initiative where we provide cranes throughout the lab so that people don't have to use their back to lift these compressors. And that's my part uh, of the team, um, is to kind of ensure accountability of the, uh, of the test data um, and make sure that processes continue to improve and with safety in mind and all those things. So this is one of our staging areas, and this is where the compressor comes after it's assembled, it'll come to this room, to one of these roller tables, depending on the size of the compressor and the size of the stand that it needs to run on. You know, safety is a big, is a big factor at Copeland. And so what we try and do is we've tried to, uh, to create a, a no lift initiative. Part of that is, is that we have these hoists or cranes uh, in every area of the lab so that we don't ever have to lift or use our back or our muscles to lift these compressors in and out to a stand or a test facility or anything like that. It's all done right here they'll bring it over here this has actually got a scale on it so we don't have to to drop it down on a scale this will actually weigh the compressor for us and lift it they're on these roller tables so that we don't even have to use any muscle to move them around so that's all part of our no lift and, and safety initiative we want to make sure that that we have a uh, zero accident rating. So data and feedback is critical because it tells us how the compressor operates. It tells us, you know, how good we're doing or how well that our compressors are performing uh, for proof of concept and things like that. Our mass flow stand is a great piece of technology that actually allows us to monitor pressures, temperatures, amperage, things like that, and then provides us with test results. It actually gives us what we would call like a summary of, of how that compressor ran. So it's a really, really important piece or tool that we use within the lab. Probably one of our most important tools because it's providing with us with the data and the feedback that we need. What I have here is a comparison of what a compressor looks like before we test it uh, or do hydrostatic testing on it and what it looks like afterwards or what it could look like afterwards. So when we get a compressor in here, what we're testing is we're gonna actually test the shell and the welds that are done on this shell and the integrity of them to make sure that they'll hold up to a certain uh, standard or a certain amount of pressure that we require and also UL labs require. How we do that is, is we would actually lay this on its side inside of a, a hydrostatic tank that locks and has bulletproof glass on it. We would pump hydraulic fluid into it and then we would pressurize that to above 2000 PSI and what that's going to do is that's going to give us an idea of how much pressure these compressors can take. And you can actually see where the stress fracture, where it failed right here along this bottom weld uh, in comparison to one that has not been tested yet. In my lab, you're dealing with different situations every day. And the one thing I tell somebody new that comes to my lab, a new technician, is that you will never stop learning. Every day is a learning experience. Every day you're going to run into an issue that you don't know about and you might have to ask somebody or we might have to learn together, right? Um, so everything's different every day. You're never doing the same thing. You might be testing and, and running some of the same tests, but the product's always different. Uh, the type of testing is not old always the same and the problems that we run into just the everyday hang-ups they're, they're 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 different every day every day i learn something new as a supervisor i've been here 17 and a half years and every day i walk in here and i learn something new as our product changes and evolves, as we start to use different refrigerants that are more environmentally friendly, so does our work. Our work changes as well. So we're not only, not only are we constantly learning, but we're constantly learning as a lab and as a team as well. And as a company, you know, we're always learning about new things and new innovative ways and efficient ways to do things, or maybe in a more efficient way to run our compressors. There's always learning here and it's vital to the job. Copeland is dedicated to providing innovative and effective climate solutions that meet the highest standards of excellence. Our people, performance and purpose help to pave the way toward a more sustainable future for all. 
We support the energy transitions across heating, cooling, industrial applications, accelerate the adoption of climate-friendly, lower GWP refrigerants, and help to safeguard the world's most critical goods through an efficient and reliable cold chain. So a job like this provides um, opportunities for advancement within the company. Um, like I, I started off as a technician and worked my way up to a, to a lab supervisor. It also provides opportunities such as education. Uh, you know, we provide tuition reimbursement and things like that. Um, so there's always room for growth. I would say the biggest thing is if you're looking to get with a company and grow, uh, Copeland is a great place to do that because there is constant growth here. There's constant evolution within the jobs and within your job type.